Today I'm going to be showing you a new mod dropping for the 1.2 update in Tuna and New Origins. The mod is... wait, no, 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 not you, no, no, you're, you're not allowed here, not yet, I'll do you soon. The mod we'll actually be reviewing is called Ember by Chaotic Graviton. Ember is a mod specially made for the 1.2 update. It's used to augment the editing and construction of the new engine plumes by providing new engine plume editing UI, a new plume viewing method so you can see exactly how your engine will look during every second of its flight without even exiting the designer. Once you've downloaded the Ember mod from the Juno website, you're also going to want to download the Juno Harmony mod. Juno Harmony is a dependency of Ember so must be installed. You can find a link to the Juno Harmony mod on Ember's mod page as shown here. Once they're both installed, head into the game, and before enabling Ember, enable Juno Harmony. You need to enable Juno Harmony first, or it won't let you enable Ember. Now we're going to take a look at the main control panel for Ember. Once we head into the designer, we're first going to select our rocket engine. Then we're going to click the Ember icon to see the Ember UI. We're going to ignore the top for now and I'll show you what that does later. First of all, we have Throttle. This is something we don't have in the base game, and it allows us to adjust the throttle of the engine in the designer so you can see what it looks like at different points in its flight. We also have an altitude slider here, which does the exact same as the altitude slider in the flight panel, but it's just convenient to be here. Under that we have the different colours of the engine. The main colour, the tip colour, and the flame colour. Clicking on the name of the colour will bring up the colour wheel, allowing us to change the colour. If you also hover over the colour next to the name, you'll see exactly what hex code colour it is. Under these we have number values. These make it easier so you don't have to go into XML and you can see the effect of it right away. First we have intensity, then texture intensity, the length of the plume, the offset of the plume from the engine's bell, the rim shade, the engine disc intensity which is the white bit inside the engine, and the expansion range. The expansion range clamps the engine's expansion so you can have a vacuum plume in an atmosphere if you want. Under this we have the shock diamonds menu. We can obviously change the colour of the shock diamonds, the shock diamonds offset, and the intensity of the shock diamonds. Then under that we have engine soot. We can obviously turn this on and off, change the colour, the intensity, and the soot length. Finally we have the engine smoke, which has the smoke's colour and the smoke's speed. The UI that Ember adds is incredible and makes things so much easier for people who want to make custom plumes, and I would absolutely recommend getting it. There are a few more features of Ember though that I'd like to talk about. The first, and one of my favourite features, is being able to select multiple engines in the designer. The first method for doing this will select all the engines that you've put on symmetry. For example, the first stage of this rocket. All you have to do is select one of the engines, and then select the ember icon, and you'll see all the engines will now be lit up. The second method is done by clicking on the staging editor. Once you've clicked on it, you can then use the design info panel to swap between the stages of your craft, so you can see all different stages firing. You can also select all stages, of course, to see every stage on the craft. This is a great feature for seeing exactly how your craft looks through every stage of its flight. Now let's talk about the last major feature of Ember, that being Plumes Presets. If we go back into the Ember menu, at the top we'll see the Plumes Presets. These are three buttons, Import Preset, Save Preset, and Reset Plume. Import Presets allows us to use any presets for engines. You can also save your own plumes by saving a preset of a plume. All you have to do is build a plume, hit Save Preset, name the plume, and then it will be saved. You will see that it will be saved to Ember's engine plume file directory. If you want to send somebody else your custom engine plume, all you have to do is go to this file directory, copy the name of the plume, and then send the link to the person that wants the custom plume. All they have to do is download it and put it in the same Ember file directory. And of course, the reset plume button does exactly what it says, and it resets the plume to its default value. So there you have it, this is the Ember mod. The link to the mod will be in the description, and of course massive thanks to Chaotic Graviton for letting me showcase this mod early. Big thanks to our Patreons for supplying the funding for the music you can hear in this video. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.